Hello everybody, this is Sniper signing in to Command & Conquer Riddler 3 on the map Infinity Isle. Spawning on the right side as the green Soviet player. This is unique. And his opponent spawning as the orange allies player. This is Death Warrior. This game sent to me actually by unique from the get go. He sent me this a few days ago. Uh, but classes have been a little uh, unorthodox for the first week, so, which, so I have been unable to take a look at it up until now. A little bit, so not just a little bit, a lot of early scouts, uh, the scouting wars, there we go, that's what I'm trying to say, scouting wars are in full swing. That's a lot of dot. wow, that's a lot of attack dogs. That is a lot of attack dogs. I don't, unique, I don't understand your, I don't understand, well, ooh, okay. Ma spam clicking the F key, I think, on the wrong dogs. Just, just kind of spam clicking. Maybe, maybe, maybe Death Warrior not. Maybe he's not quite on the micro toes that he needs to be for all of these dogs at once. Quite possibly, but you know that is okay. It's, so you know the sheer number of dogs allows him to just absolutely run over. Unique, no, unique. Don't be building. Don't be building. He's he's building more out of this barracks. I cannot condone this tie this strategy right here right now building this many war bears or it's just continuing to build infantry out of this racks is while there's that while there are this many dogs right in front of it that is not necessarily the greatest idea you could ever do the safe thing to do here would probably be just go and start building the um War, the war factory so it's, sorry I, I had a little bit of an audio bug with my headphones and I think I just fixed it I think I just just figured out why uh, one little cord wasn't quite connected properly but building continuing to build out of a barracks I mean it's, yes he did wind up overwhelming all the dogs and yes he did still grab his oil derrick both players did indeed grab the oil derrick and it's death war has indeed gone for that third rep as we can see out here on the water so it's, he's in the at the end of the day he's still Quite a bit. He was. I would say he's quite a bit ahead right now. Is he? He forced out a lot of money from Unique, whether it was in conscripts or war bears or what have you. This that was a lot of money that was spent on from that barracks while there was still attack dogs sitting out right in front of it, just basically milking it down and not really allowing any of those infantry to get anywhere. Scouting Warbear does make its way into Death Warrior's base as a seaport comes down. So could we be seeing some Riptide ACVs? Maybe a Dolphin? Perhaps. Uh, as he is currently as unique, rather, not just he unique, is currently going out to get that naval refinery of his own up and running. Had to dispatch the Terror Drone because that was a nice little cheeky placement from Death Warrior, preventing the place down of that refinery just being a little annoying and stalling the expansion timing of his opponent. Double Vindicator coming on out, and yes, indeed, we do have Riptide ACVs taking to the map. One already out. I would imagine this is going to be another Riptide taking to the map shortly thereafter. Indeed, it is. Possibly a third. I think this is building at about the rate a Riptide ACV would. Perhaps. As I'd wager this is going to be another Riptide ACV. Probably just going to go around onto the water, see about getting some naval harassment done on this collector that just finished up. So it's building a naval yard, trying to build building a naval yard, canceling a naval yard, and now rebuilding it still. Going to block off, going to use a little bit of Sim City here to this nice, this is nice play from Unique using this little Sim City to try and funnel enemy attackers or any potential harassers for this collector to be force over here in range of the sentry gun as that would thereby do some damage and protect that collector but that's not that's not going to do them any good or that sentry gun won't do you any good if it's powered down that is that is not very good at all one i believe that's just one little conscript sitting inside of this garrisonable structure just being a little bit annoying but those riptides say they will indeed take quite a while to uh, to clean that all the way out four vindicators into the skies now three bullfrogs were ready to meet them so they death warrior just decided you know what it's not really worth it just gonna go ahead pull on back and just play a little bit safer as bullfrogs with their splash damage can get very ridiculous very quickly the force multiplier increases very rapidly and uh, the more bullfrogs that you get still just sitting on on that t1 going for that armor facility though more than likely gonna be jumping up to t2 very soon uh, for the purpose of getting some guardian tanks out 
Mm, Multi-gunner turret? I mean, I guess. I mean, you, you don't really need it, but I mean, I guess? Double Sickle gonna go ahead and go on down to force some harassment. Looks like Vindicator tried to, Vindicators tried to make a bombing run. One of them did wind up getting shot down. They, another was very heavily, heavily damaged indeed. One Sickle gets inside of the mineral line on one prospector. If this is not microed out of the mineral line, it will indeed die. And that, is, that Sickle needs to be very careful. As those Riptide ACBs, the combined firepower of the Riptide ACBs and the two multi-gunner IFVs now rocking up. That is more than enough to absolutely devastate a Sickle. Sickles cannot hope to stand under that kind of firepower. Stingray out on the water taking out that naval prospector. And that Sickle was indeed successful as many of the bombs actually miss. That was, that was a nice cheeky little jump dodging a lot of the bombs. But of course, you know, it's they... That sickle did only dodge maybe like three or four bombs. There's still plenty of bombs left in payload to take him down with post haste. Not too much difficulty. Nice play on Death Warrior saving this prospector and making sure it is not going down to that sickle and is going to get back to work on that refinery just fine. No problems whatsoever. Fourth refinery has been down for quite some time up here on the ridge line. Airfield starting to come down as well, along with hammer tank production starting. Oh, Riptide ACBs, this stays. They're going to get some free kills. That's one Bullfrog down to this other one's heavy damage mode. It can't get away. And bonk. Well, that Bullfrog just got deleted. RIP Bullfrog. Rest in pepperonis. Hammer Tank's pushing up to the front line. It's just going to be giving a little bit of offensive presence. I'd love to see Unique taking advantage of the fact that he's, he has a Terror Drone. Uh, trapping this multi gunner IV is switch. He's starting to do that now using the leech beam. Honestly, I would probably just go up to it and just uh, just uh, shoot it down with my own guns. Yes, the, the leech, the weapon that you get off the multi gunner IV from leeching it would not exactly be the most powerful thing in the world. I believe it's an anti infantry chain gun, not exactly the most powerful thing in the world, but it still has its uses indeed. Guardian tanks gonna be rolling on out with some naval harassment. I see moving out two more Riptide ACBs moving for some naval harass three two Riptide ACBs and a hydrofoil ready on what is more than likely that weapon jammer mode a uh, cool subs taking to the map I mean, one of cool sub is or is already out and no more cool subs are in production This one of cool sub. Oh, you're gonna be using the cryo shot You recognize the fact that there is a sentry gun here you're gonna be using the cryo shot to take it down and boom There it goes this now. That's that collector is in serious danger nice building block though using the building block to try and keep this collector alive as long as possible dolphin also coming over trying to see what all it can do twin blade did come over indeed looks like he loaded a terror drone inside of a twin blade and landed that terror drone inside the mineral line calls down the orbital drop power knocks down a bunch of those walls and that power plant You're gonna be positioning that to, uh, prospect that infected prospector near the garrisonable structure so that as soon as, soon as that terror drone pops out it will be instantaneously dealt with this looks like there was a cool that a cool sub did just use his ultra torpedoes ability and basically shotgunned one of these riptide acvs just blapped it right out of existence stingray trying to come to the defense here back near the naval yard and sea refinery for unique gonna be able to take down that dolphin will this stingray be able to take down the riptide acvs well death warriors micro here could be a little bit better could be indeed, but now it's now uh, the special abilities for those stingrays is the Tesla surge does indeed come down. I did not quite re recall what that ability was, and that cool sub is dead and deader. The vindicators were circling above like hawks circling a fresh kill. Are those vultures? No, hawks would be cir hawks don't circle in packs. I believe like crows and vultures do that. I don't know. Do hawks circle in packs? I don't remember. I don't know if they do or not. Tesla Coil coming down on the front line, gonna be offering a little bit of static defense for what is possibly going to be a really powerful ground push. Well, I say really powerful, it's a moderately powerful ground push, but it's you know, just instead opting just to take down an observation tower. And this observation tower, my oh my, does it have some health? It's sitting, it's sitting here taking sustained punishment from you know a little more maybe like eight eight guardian tanks or so eight guardian tanks with one on the laser painter and then on top of that a bombing a full bombing run from the vindicators that is that is no small feat taking that much punishment stingray and double stingray moving out the two defensive stingrays gonna be moving forward i don't know if they're really gonna accomplish too much uh especially not now there's a riptide acv here just popping out of the seaport i really don't think that's gonna accomplish very much kind of gonna be a waste of a unit i would say oh that is that's not good uh you well, 
cryo shot it did accomplish that task for death warrior however is simply building a cryocopter right here is he already has two cryocopters made instead of using his support power he could have just dedicated one cryocopter along with that vindicator frozen that collector and then used the stop micro function on the vindicator to successfully take down that that collector and possibly one two however many more he could have possibly gotten to and the, it, yeah, I mean there's some bullfrogs that could have reacted to that but this this that if that had drawn the anti-air off the front lines then suddenly that one cryocopter vindicator is pulling all the AA off the front line and then the remaining three vindicators could come in and launch a surgical sort of strike uh, I think yeah hammer tiny says they can weather one full vindicators worth of bombs but it's enough about that it's, it looks like the action is going to be heating up here shortly it looks like that multi gun turret might it might finally have some use it's, uh, it's after all this time I'm not entirely sure whether it would have use or not but no no it's like unique it's just going to be backing off doesn't want to take an engagement that he doesn't feel confident that he can win hammer tank just basically giving itself well bye rest in pieces hammer tank basically just giving a gift over to death warrior the orbital drop coming down engineer capture oh my goodness engineer capture did come down most most likely most likely most likely a twin blade engineer drop looks like he did try to go for the allied mcb which is why we saw it packed up when we panned back over but since this since the mcb was packed up it just the engineer just made a break for the refinery may did manage to get it and got the prospector along with it so that forces a read a two thousand dollar cost redeploy of that ore refinery that is a cost that death warrior does not want to be taking right about now is he is unique just continuing to make twin blades or is this going to be some migs we have some migs the soviet air force is going to be taking to the skies very very shortly double apollo fighter double cryocopter one vindicator as a uh, veteran vindicator could very well get that vindicator to elite and or heroic status will the stop micro be on point yes it will stop micro is indeed on point two cryocopters and two migs gonna be committing Ooh, it needs to be careful about these Apollo fighters. The Apollo fighters, is, they are technically better than Migs, but not better than Bullfrogs. There, there were three Apollo fighters there. One of them does get shot down. Will they get away? Oh, this one crowdcopter. I bet one crowdcopter at least is going to get shot down. Will they both get shot down? Yes, they will. Both crowdcopters get shot down. And another Apollo fighter. That is a seamless trade coming out. Not even a trade at all. Those are just good kills all around from Unique positioning recognizing that those bullfrogs could do more good back here in the back lines instead of on the front lines with all of his main forces the bears and the tanks and suddenly he was able to snipe two apollo fighters and two cryocopters because of those bullfrogs so rocking up to the fight double airfield is down for oh something died that was a tesla coil that just died uh Vindicator bombing? Yes, that was a Vindicator bombing on that Tesla coil. Didn't really accomplish all too much. Another Akula sub trying to get some harassment done, but three Riptide ACVs and that uh, Hydrofoil is not going to make that Akula sub's job any easier, but now two Akula subs are here, and that's... <laughs> Where do you think you're going, Sunshine? That is the end of one Riptide ACV. That Akula, those Akula subs are just going to focus fire that Hydrofoil. Down it goes. And now that is just a simple cleanup operation. Without their Hydrofoil, those Riptides do not stand a single solitary chance against double Akula subs rocking out into the water. And a third is on its way over as well. Two Vindicators circling above like vultures circling their prey. Does get the cash. Nice job from Unique using that cash bounty, getting that 450 back off of that dead uh, a cool sub and I wonder if you if you put a cash bounty on a structure and that structure is sold Does that cash bounty cancel? I mean the, the structure technically ceases to exist so or does the structure have to be Quote on has to be actually killed by a unit to get that cash bounty back I have to do a little digging and find that out for sure But we have a t3 tech up coming out from death warrior Athena can is taking to the field do we have a T3 answer yet? Yeah, it's yes we do. T3 answer is on its way in the form of a battle lab. What oh man, with a battle lab out, we could very well see some B4s, some artillery units of the Soviets on Arsenal. We could see some Kirovs coming out of this airfield that Unique has been hanging on to. 
or very possibly some I would personally love to see some apocalypse tanks rolling out see the strength of the Soviet armor debuted on the front line hydrofoil taking a trick out of the campaign playbook using that hydrofoil oh pardon me using that hydrofoil to weapon jam that tesla coil so that those dolphins can get free reign on killing it twin blade does show up switching to aa mode and that tesla coil still one shot zaps the dolphins it's down they go zappity zap 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 down to down go two dolphins and oh that was that was a gigantic chunk of death army i cannot believe i just missed that gigantic chunk of the army from death warrior just died based on the support powers that have been chosen us i would wager that was an orbital dump power coming down from unique cryo blast or that believe i believe that was a cryo blast completely missing the, the microphone unique is is indeed on point using that age of shield to try and protect these Athena cans from the hammer tanks. The Tesla Troopers trying to use their EM disruptors, but they're not far enough up. They're not being able to make the contact that they need to make. These Guardian tanks, some of these Guardian tanks are just getting absolutely left behind. Athena cannon, all Athena cannons left. He has been left out in the dust, and down it goes, passing off that orbital cannon to that hammer tank. Going to be amplifying that hammer tank's possibility of firepower. Five multi-gunner IFV is going to be more than enough to chase away these twin blades. Not these twin blades not going to be able to accomplish very much of anything. Still, only rocking three ref. Really, only two mining ref at this point. Only two mining refs. Defense bureau is down, and a chronosphere did go down about 50, 60 seconds ago. So, going to be ticking on down. Have to see how that is going to be used. Getting that prospector back to work. So, back up to three ref. It's still currently three ref to four to five ref. 3 ref to 5, but Unique has got his hammer tanks, his CS, he believes he has a strong advantage in his hammer tanks, I believe he does too, he has, he has an advantage to be pressing, and did that Aegis Shield ability just get cancelled? I had no idea, I had no idea you could actually cancel the Aegis Shield once it's been started, I thought it was one of those abilities, but once you've triggered it, it's, it basically had to run out its duration, but here we go, V4 Rockets using those multi-warhead rounds, gonna be firing down on the opponent, on Death Warriors lines, those multi rocket, those multi warhead rockets, they are so powerful indeed. Expect the splash damage capability is just so good on those V4s, making them invaluable units to have. Loses one hammer tank kind of for free to that Athena can needs to pull on back these three V4, these V4s. I believe he has three. Yes, indeed, he does. His C does have three V4s sitting here on the front lines. It's, they are just providing invaluable amounts of zoning right now. Kirov's taking to the front lines. And another Kirov already in the main base, taking down one refinery. Another Kirov gonna be pushing the front lines. Will it be able, what will it be able to accomplish? There's only two multi-gunner IFVs on the front line. The other four are in the main base. What, uh, there's still multi-gunner turret and some javelin troopers and Apollo fighter. But is this, uh, this Kirov, what is, what is it going to accomplish? Uh, Actually, it's not even dropping his bombs, so really a whole lot of nothing. It might it might kill that PK. No, it's probably not going to kill that peacekeeper on the way down. It loses an Apollo fighter. Death Warrior does kind of for free. Not really necessary. Using these hammer tanks, just using their leech beam, just kind of as a creeping advance with these V4s. V4 is going to be putting continuous pressure on Death Warrior's lines. It's, it's like if De Unique is basically saying, all right, you're going to have to come and get it. Oh, no. That is a cryo get it going down. On the front line, scatter move coming out. Death Warrior is going to try and take advantage. Will oh, Chronosphere goes off, transports a lot of those tanks out to the water, gets them killed instantly, uh, along with those war bears dying as well. A lot of allied force, all of the Death Warrior's forces just pushing forward, shattering all of these frozen units. V4 return fire, retreating fire is not very accurate. Gonna need to be very careful. Unique is honestly is seriously on the back foot. He needs something to turn the tide in his favor. He is, does have a heroic hammer tank with two guns on it, with two anti tank or anti armor weapons. A heroic unit out the wazoo coming down. Or at least, at least one heroic unit, one heroic javelin driver. I believe I saw, I thought I saw another one or another two. Guess not. Orbital dump power is called, but does indeed miss. And it's those V4s. That's, now that V4 is in bombardment position again. It's gonna wanna be very careful. 
could possibly splash on some of these infantry. Getting some splash hits off, sit, spamming out war bears, just trying to see if he can stun out all these infantry. Heroic wants to go to IFE, taking up to the front line as well. Where is that heroic hammer tank still alive? Heroic, they're shooting the heroic javelin trooper. That's not what you want to be shooting at. When you're in a hammer tank, you want to be shooting some armor. You do not want to be shooting at infantry. And it's, there's still four guardian tanks in this mix, but all the infantry are getting crushed. There are too many hammer tanks. They are all just getting crushed. Well, heroic hammer tank does go down. However, only four guardian tanks remain. Two of them on laser painter mode. Really. You only really need one of them on laser painter mode. You're right, guardian tank does go down. Another guardian tank goes down. This will this no, this one makes the mistake of turning around and trying to reverse move. And that will result in his death as well. Hydrofoil just kind of chilling out there, not really doing too much of anything at all. Another group of five hammer tanks, another heroic hammer tank, put another elite hammer tank getting ready to go. Heroic pushing the front lines again. And the MCV is it is coming back indeed. Death Warrior sent his MCV back into the line. The Iron Curtain used as he has five, uh, five Iron Curtain hammer tanks going to be getting in here. Uh, unique when you when your units are, uh, he realizes us uh, on two of his tanks. Whenever you have Iron Curtain units, especially it's like hammer tanks, their DPS is much much higher. Whenever you do not have them on their leech beam, so you want if you're taking full advantage of that Iron Curtain, then just using them on their regular weapons is indeed a brilliant idea. Two veteran hammer tanks, two heroic hammer tanks. Gonna go for that prospect, gonna knock it on down, gonna get the armor facility as well. Death Warrior is running out of options here. He is really running out of options. What kind of follow-up do we have? Not really too much of follow-up. It looks like Unique is completely focused on microing this position. Taking down that last Guardian Tank. He could go in for the crush move now. Vindicators are gonna be going, no, one more Guardian Tank still on the field. Elite Guardian Tank. Heroic Javelin Trooper. Do we have Heroic anything else? No, he, oh, they... The, the Guardian Tank does go down. Loses, does indeed lose that Guardian Tank. Heroic Bullfrog. Oh, that is a stupid amount of firepower in that Heroic Bullfrog. Take it. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that from experience. You, see, you do not know depression until you watch your Tanku Cloud get evaporated by two Bullfrogs as they go heroic. This, that is the most depressing feeling that, from my experience, an Empire player could ever feel playing against a Soviet player. But another Kirov does rock up, taking down the Defense Bureau. Gonna be capping that Oil Derrick while he's at it. Probably gonna go for that power plant as well. Gonna get that power plant kill. Down it goes. It's kaboom. Will he get this other power plant? It depends on if he drops some bombs or not. Gets one bomb off. Oh, that bomb was just barely in the splash radius. The fall damage might do it. Yes, it does. This, the fall damage of the Kirov is enough to take down that power plant. Just another little thing that Death Warrior has got to worry about now. Multi gunner Taurus weak on the front lines. It's, if I were him. If I were Death Warrior, I would invest more in combat units and, not, and less in static defenses. You want to use static defense if you have no other options. It's if you really, really need to. I mean, it's, it's, I mean they are, no, without any argument, without any shadow of a doubt, they are very handy to have in that desperation situation. But putting them out preemptively like that, you got to be careful about you not about not getting your money's worth. But Javelin Troopers coming back down to base, and it's going to be shooting down this Kirov as well. The Kirov more than likely going to be taking out this power plant. Will he get the refinery? Maybe. If he, keep, if he keeps moving? Nope. Never mind. This, that is rest in bits and pieces. Bye-bye, Kirov. And <laughs> Bullfrog man cannoning a bullfrog. Uh, not a bullfrog. A bullfrog firing a bullfrog. That would be something right there. If a bullfrog man, a man cannon fired another bullfrog. But instead, Warbear does get launched down there. Goes heroic, but it uses that amplified roar instead of going for the PK. And that heroic PK is able to clean up the Warbear, no problem. Natasha has taken to the map. Natasha, a ton of hammer tanks. Uh, it's another V4. A, about a pack or two, a pack and a half of Warbears. More bull the, uh, the same bullfrogs, MIGs, twists, twin blades. Unique has got a little bit of everything in his army. Still continuing with that cure all production, and that Iron Curtain is indeed ready. Iron Curtain. The thing about the Iron Curtain is that whenever you're up against an ally player with a Chronosphere, gonna be taking down that multi gunner turret. The Chronosphere, I believe, can override the Iron Curtain. Say, say if Unique Iron Curtain five tanks, but then Death Warrior just double clicked the Chronosphere out into the water. This, this, then suddenly I think that would be enough to 
completely negate it. But, oh, yeah, there was the Chronos for use of Swiss right there, taking out a bunch of the War Bears. But really, they didn't see, they did not see that Desolator Delta Airstrike. We have a Heroic Vindicator on the map. Iron Curtain used is kind of just parking his tanks while he's kind of, he, you saw the formation move. Unique just parking his tanks so that he can get that Iron Curtain off and ready to go. Another Heroic Hammer Tank taking to the map. And what does Death Warrior have left? I don't think he really has very much. He doesn't have much of anything left attacking that boot camp, even though it's not really building much of anything at all. There is no way. I don't think he's ever going to be able to survive this Death Warrior. Orbital Downpour comes down. Cryogeddon coming down. His last, I think these are his last units. Death Warrior's final hoorah. His last possible stand going down with these infantry. And the crush move is enough. And Death Warrior calls it. Taps out. GG. Well played to both of these players. Now that game not may while well, that game may not oh failed to connect so okay cool cool story us uh, now that game may not have necessarily been the most I don't I hesitate to say the word pro well let's let's say high level there's there were some mistakes that were made in that game from both sides to be very fair and uh, I have I have not seen these guys play very much myself so I'll have to explore this some more but they, there was some sound decision making on both sides. It's, uh, that was nice. It was nice harassment coming out from Unique. Really, that entire game or was just continually harassing that naval expansion until he forced Death Warrior to just really and truly give up on it. And I think Death Warrior had a really solid chance to push Unique back with that Cryogeddon on the Central Ridge. But he, but uh, Unique was on his toes. He was on his micro toes, but was paying attention and recognized, hey, wait a minute, I'm gonna take some heavy losses in this engagement. I need to get back to base. I need to start requeuing units. I need to start spending my money. Make sure I'm spending it everywhere I possibly can, and I need to make sure I will have enough to hold this position. And while it's while the hammer tanks were kind of firing on a javelin tripper for a minute there, I think they that those hammer tanks could have sustained fewer casualties if they had been focusing on the on the guardian tanks it's like say if you had focused on the near if he had focused the nearest guardian tank to that javelin trooper then sent one tank in for the crush you kill kind of two birds with one sequence of stones so to speak but a unique also says he also did a very good job holding his own naval expansion against the continued harass or I say holding it or making sure when he did lose it to go back and get it to make sure that he wasn't ever he was not going to be down or rep if he could at all help it and it's the resources grab just it just really really shows just how much of an eco lead there towards the end of the game that unique we started to get 25 minutes and 17 seconds as 151,000 ore to 115,000 ore. That is a substantial, substantial difference in terms in, or in favor of Unique. That ex definitely explains where all those cure offs were able to come from. And if you're at the point, if you're an ally, an ally player or an Empire player for that matter, if you're at the point where you're playing a Soviet faction and the soviet player is just in this such a commanding position five refineries able to get up the battle lab and start really getting the heavy artillery the cavalry units like it's getting that getting those kirovs just getting a stream of kirovs out that is severe that is very annoying for an ally player to deal with and um, predominantly because you know you need anti-air on the front lines because of the twin blades, but you also need AA in your back line because the cure-all is threatening you constantly. And the ideally, what you would do as an ally player is get out Apollo fighters to try and cover your back line, and they could adapt and cover the front line if they were needed. But the thing is, is about Apollo fighters, well, number one, he didn't have any. It's, they were either all shot down or just he just didn't have the money to rebuild them or two they run out of ammo and if they run out of ammo chasing out a cure off well you can, it's an air to, uh, an air superiority fighter doesn't do you any good if it does not have any ammo so that's kind of one perk about playing japan about being the empire of the rising sun you get the tangus while they do a little bit less dps they still have infinite ammo and can just focus down a cure off with relative ease but still a very good game from both of these players this it was it was good to see how these guys play it was very entertaining to watch and very fun to cast and i do hope all of you guys have enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one and this is sniper signing out